Hello. How are you guys today? Hi there. We're just going to give it a few seconds, a few minutes actually, I should say, not seconds. Uh, before we get started, we'll give some people time to join. Good to see you guys today. I feel like the weather is finally doing something positive. It finally feels like spring, May. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really tired of the snow. So I could go for some really nice patio weather is what I like to call it. Hello. Thanks for joining. Hi, Doris. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. We're just waiting for about 30 more seconds and then we'll get going. I feel like everything in my office pertains to spring flowers. Hi, Cindy. So I'm definitely excited for warmer weather. Hi, Edward. Good to see you again. Oh, you're going to Sky Corral. That's fun. It is beautiful up there. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started because it is noon. And if I haven't met you or don't know you, my name is Jackie Gowing, and I am the Missions Ministry Assistant here at Timberline. So, so great to meet you. Um, so great to see some of you join us today. I'm just going to take a few minutes and talk about prayer. Um, God's really been laying some things on my heart about prayer and has really been working in my family um, and kind of my friend circles lately in really huge ways that I feel like are kind of questions answered, things answered coming out of prayer. So I'm sure if you've kind of grown up in church, most of you have heard the term prayer warrior, but I want to shift that around a little bit and talk about becoming a warrior in prayer because I think they're similar, but um, I think that there is something that we can really stand strong and fight when we are going to battle spiritually in prayer. And so um, God's just been speaking to me about the Lord's Prayer and um, something that, you know, we hear a lot. It's on almost all the signs in Hobby Lobby, if you were like me and like to frequent Hobby Lobby. Um, but I'm just going to read it, and there's a section in there that's really stood out to me lately as being different and something I guess I haven't really noticed. So I'm reading um, out of the NIV, but we're in Matthew 6, 20, nope, I lied. Sorry, let me find my right page here. Technology sometimes is hard for me. Okay, we are in Matthew 6. And I'm going to start reading at verse 9. It says, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So the section I want to focus on is where it talks about your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I think sometimes, um, you know, we hear it talked about a lot in prayer that we just want to pray God's will. But God's will is really quite extraordinary in the sense that his will is that the things of heaven would be here on earth. And so um, I've kind of been digging into what does that mean? What does that look like? And there's a passage in Revelation where John is talking about what he sees um, in heaven. And so I'm going to read that to you too. But it kind of goes along with this idea of praying God's will here on earth. And what does that actually mean? So I'm reading now out of Revelation 21, 3 and 4. And it says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, 
or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. And so I think that's what it means to pray God's will to happen here on earth now. We can pray big prayers, big prayers that are God prayers, because in heaven there isn't any death. There's no war. There's no sickness. There's no mourning. And that's really powerful to think that we can pray those things here and now. And so um, I think I've been asking God, what are some tools in which I can become more of a warrior of prayer? What are some tangible things I can do? And I feel like he's kind of brought up two things that I want to share with you. The first is pray um, in faith. And I know that sounds like, duh, of course. But what I mean by that is instead of saying, God, I ask that you'll do these things, um, pray as if those things are already happening or they're going to happen. And an example I always give is part of my job is to lead short-term mission teams for us here at church. So oftentimes we as a team will pray before we even leave the U.S., God, we are thankful for all the things you did while we were in this country. We're thankful for all of the connections that you helped us make with people. We're thankful for the seeds that were planted. So we're basically praying in faith, um, something that we know is the will of God. And um, I just think that's really powerful because we're not asking for something. We're declaring something to happen and to believe that those things will happen. The second thing I feel like God gave me as a tool was... Um, you can do a prophetic act while you're praying. And what I mean by that is a good example in the Bible is of Jericho when God asked them to march all around the wall. And it kind of seemed ridiculous at first because it was like, how is marching going to help us in this situation? And I think sometimes God just wants that little yes from us to be like, okay, I'm believing in faith that you're going to show up and do this thing. And so it could, we have people that I know walk around our building here at Timberline and they pray for different ministries and things that happen here. So it could look like walking around something. I always think of if you're married, it could look like if you're praying for your spouse, you lay on their side of the bed, maybe while they're not home. Um, You can do the same with your kiddos. So there's definitely different ways that we can do prophetic acts where we are stepping into this place of saying, I am doing this little thing, this tangible thing, and I'm expecting God to show up. And so, really quick, those are my tools on prayer. And so I just want to spend a couple minutes praying for us today. Um, As a side note, we do have U Camp Weekend happening at our Timberline Old Town campus this weekend, and then at our Timberline Road and Timberline Windsor campuses the following weekend. So I just want to lift them up in prayer too. Um, They're a big deal to us in the missions office. And we just want to pray blessing over them, pray blessing over their ministry and how God is working in India and Spain with the various ministries that UCount is involved in. And then I also just want to pray over you guys today that God would continue to speak to you about how your prayer life really matters and how you really can be a warrior in prayer and that he would just increase your tools. So join me in prayer. God, I thank you for my friends today, um, and I thank you that we can just come so freely to you and say that we want to be warriors of prayer. And so I just pray that you would give us tangible things that we can do to increase our prayer life and to really have faith that you want to show up and answer our prayers, no matter how big or how small. And so I just pray that things like speaking out in faith or prophetic acts would become something in our day-to-day life, something that's just part of how we are obedient to you and trusting in you and the things that you're going to do. And I also just lift up you count to you, Lord, and we're grateful that it's happening this weekend and next weekend at our campuses. And Lord, we just pray um, your presence would be on each one that attends the services and listens online. And we also just pray for the ministry that you count is doing. Um, We know that they support a lot of different ministries around the world, and so we just thank you for that. We thank you for your provision and that they're able to do that. We also just pray that you would continue to bring more awareness to each one of us about trafficking and what is our role. Is our role to pray or give or go? Um, Lord, I just pray that you would be present and that your spirit would just be felt. And we just lift up everyone to you that's on this Wednesday noon prayer call, Lord. And we thank you for all that you're doing in their lives. Amen. 
So I encourage you to join us this week and the next for UCount. If you want to come to all three campuses, you'll experience different little pieces of things. It'd be really fun to see you there. And uh, we really just love you and we care about you. So thanks for joining us today. Have a great one.